Hi, my name is Ross Buecher and welcome to the External Control Tutorial. Control My Nikon gives you the ability to receive commands from other programs running on your computer. So for example, if you have a application and you want to have Control My Nikon shoot or connect to the camera or disconnect or maybe start a script, you can do that very easily. This is very useful if you're building applications that are controlling hardware. So, for example, for focus stacking, your application might be actually moving the subject using motors. And at certain times, you may want to command Control My Nikon to capture an image. So let's see how we can do this. Control My Nikon provides access to some of its commands through Windows Messaging. And in this diagram here, you can see this is your app up here. Here's Control My Nikon, it's connected with USB to your camera. Your application is going to send Windows Messaging messages to Control My Nikon. Control My Nikon is not going to send anything back to your application, so this is one-way communication only. We have some sample code here, and if we go up to the Help menu, select External Control, this will show you what you need to do to set it up. Now, Control My Nikon already has a built-in example of using Windows Messaging to control Control My Nikon, and that is the speech trigger. When you run the speech trigger, it's actually a remote application. And this is a separate executable. When it detects a matching word or phrase, it will use Windows Messaging to send a command to Control My Nikon. Now, the available commands that you could send are right here. So it's very basic, shoot and AF and shoot and start script. But it also gets a little bit more complex. You can connect and disconnect the camera. You can start and stop live view. Even start and stop uh, recording video. Start bracketing or time lapse or even the stacking functionality. So your code needs to send a Windows message to Control My Nikon. And this is Delphi code here. Control My Nikon is coded in Delphi, but you can use almost any programming language, whether it's Java or .NET or Visual Basic, to do the same thing. Basically, you want to define a message structure, and then you want to put the message code into the structure. Now, what you're sending are these strings, and these are just very simple strings. This one would be an example of five characters. Here's an example here. Just send string, connect. That's actually calling this procedure here, send string, with this parameter. And this procedure calls this procedure. And this is the one that goes and finds the correct window with the name of Control My Nikon V3.0. This is essential that you always look for this string of characters, Control My Nikon V3.0. So that means if there's a new version of Control My Nikon out, Control My Nikon V3.1 or 3.2, your code could break. So you need to either use this string and update your code when a new version of Control My Nikon comes out, or there's other ways, you know, to find a window where you only look at the first part. And we won't change the Control My Nikon part. This will always remain. However, after the end here, we could put something else in the future. So to make it the most forward compatible as possible, uh, just look for Control My Nikon. And once you find that window, you just send a message to it. Now, there's nothing you need to do in Control My Nikon to make it ready to receive this message. As soon as you start up Control My Nikon, it can receive a message. So you can go through a full set of functionality here you could start up Control My Nikon, then start up your app and have it connect to your camera, take some shots, disconnect, maybe start live view, stop live view, do any of these things, and that's it. And as I mentioned before, the data communications are one way. It only comes from your application and uh, going to Control My Nikon. Control My Nikon does not send any status indicators or any other messages back to your application. A handy way to help troubleshoot this is to use the trigger log. And so you can use this as you're developing your program. So any commands 
sent by Windows Messaging from the external application will appear here. That's it. That's how you use Windows Messaging from your application to control, control my icon. Happy tethering.